Morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today is my first day of on-site learning at uni and I thought I want to you know, share that experience with you guys. So what's the plan for today? Well, in a bit, in a bit meaning 10 minutes I've got to run to the bus stop and for my first class, that's the first class on-site at an actual hospital. So it'll be interesting to see what the protocol is there regarding uh, you know, COVID security, face masks and that kind of stuff. And after that, I've got a lesson at four and thankfully that's an online lesson. And in between that time, I'm gonna be optimistic and try and train and head to the gym. If not, I'll have to do that after. Um, and in the evening, I've still got some reading to do and uh, more academic stuff. So it's a pretty uh, pretty jam-packed day, but we'll see if anything else happens. So let's, let's see where the day goes, I guess. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and let's get into the video. Just on the way to the hospital, it was a bit strange trying to pack my bag last night because I didn't really remember what I used to take. So I've <laughs> got to remember my lab coat, my identification, uh, my notes, my laptop, and my gym stuff and everything like that. So uh, yeah, my bag's really heavy. I forgot what was one of the perks of being at home because <laughs> you don't have to carry your bag around everywhere, but uh, it's all good. I'm not too sure how much I can kind of film and show you because it's a hospital. If I can't record inside the classroom and stuff, which I, I doubt the teacher will let me do, uh, we'll have a little chat about it afterwards so uh, yeah catch up with you later so I just finished that class it was a rehabilitation class at the hospital um, unfortunately we didn't get to see any patients but the class was about uh, speech disturbances swallowing difficulties so dysphagia and how to manage them which was really good because they get to consolidate your learning and the teacher really summarizes everything to the T so uh, that was really helpful another plus point is we did finish half an hour earlier so that does mean I can go to the gym now um, and I'll have enough time and I won't have to rush for that Latvian class later so that's where I'm going now I think the bus is there I think you can see it but uh, yeah I'm gonna go to the gym now one eternity later focus right so i just got back from barcelona bro. no i didn't i just got back from training training was good thanks for asking it was a very productive session i was only in there for an hour an hour and a quarter and i felt like i got a lot done everything's moving well uh don't say that again but yeah um i start like i said last time i'm starting to write stuff down i don't know if you can see that so Poor, poor numbers, poor numbers. Weak, weak, weak. I've got the grip strength of a six-year-old girl. But that's okay, we're gonna work on that. All in all, I'm having a great day. I feel like I'm getting a lot done moving about and going here and there. Uh, the only thing I would say is that just because we haven't done it in so long, it feels like walking literally everywhere to bus stops and stuff like that. It's like completely foreign. And although I live here and I have lived here for four and a half years or just over, it feels like I don't know where all the bus stops are now because I haven't used them for the last, whatever, since March. But anyway, that's the only thing that I'll, I'll get used to that, that's okay. Uh, so now um, I've got about 20 to 30 minutes. I, d I don't know why I keep on doing that. It's not like I wear a watch. Okay, so in about half an hour, that Latvian language Zoom class is gonna happen. That's gonna be a first. Um, in between then, I'm gonna do some reading for a while and then um, hopefully prepare my post-workout. That's very optimistic. I don't know if I can get all that done. I'm very hungry, so uh, yeah, I'll probably talk to you after the Latvian class, I think. Ciao Visium, I just had my first Latvian class over the internet, over the PC, and um, it's a little bit strange. It's not quite the same as doing it in real life or doing it at university um, when you're in a classroom. So in the meantime, my boy Ilya, that's Mr. KFB, uh, he hit me up and he was just like, do you fancy a macaroon? I'm like, of course I do. I'm always hungry. When, would, when wouldn't I want a macaroon? And then he goes, no, no, no. The French diplomacy. And I'm like, oh, Macron, President Macron. C'est beau, c'est beau, c'est beau. I mean, like, when else do you get a chance to view a Latvian diplomacy meeting French diplomacy. So apparently he's here in um, Latvia. He's arriving today in about an hour. And therefore I thought this is a scenario or this is a life event that I shouldn't miss because how often do you get to see that? So I'm gonna leave now. It's about half an hour walk away. Uh, he's due soon-ish. And so, I, well, I hope I can get him on camera and I hope maybe get some shots of the old town too. BMW is my friend. Okay, which car is the end? Oh, it's gotta be that one, right? The, what, that I think that's that what one. I wanted to think, man. Moment of truth. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. That's him? Yeah. We have to miss this, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a meeting. Here's the winter. 
suddenly all turning into Japanese people. Well, they're just, they're just, they're just bowing. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got in his hand? This guy. Okay. It's a salute, bro. All right. Good evening family, what's going on? It's been a long yet productive day and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I actually got home a few hours ago and I spent the last two to three hours just going through some work on my laptop doing some preparation for tomorrow's class. Uh, that's at 9am, that's not an online class, that's actually at uh, another hospital. So that'd be two days in a row where I get to go to hospital, which is almost like a novelty uh, during these times. So regarding the French diplomacy, he was noticeably late, like he said he was going to be there at like 6.15 or something like that, but he ended up showing up at like 7.30. So, you know French, the French and the French timing. I, I, I thought, isn't that supposed to be, oh no, that's German timing, isn't it? It's supposed to be precise. I thought there wasn't enough security. There were only like a handful of policemen and, you know, army men and women. So I thought it'd be packed and like we wouldn't be able to get anywhere near. But yeah, we weren't close by, but I thought with, there'd be like a lot more security. I thought there'd be helicopters all over the place, but it just shows you how much faith people have in the police, I guess. <laughs> what I'm talking about. So one last thing quickly about remote learning or blended learning. So now um, at RSU specifically, they're doing blended learning. So that's a mixture of on -site, going on site. So going to the hospitals like today um, and you know, learning over the computer. So it, it swings and roundabouts. It has its plus points, it has its drawbacks, but you know, what can you do at the end of the day? The face-to-face -face learning obviously as a medical student is crucial because you need that interaction with patients. Now, yes, of course, it's a hindrance. We don't get to do it every day um, at the moment moment like say for example we're in a group of 10 people only you know two or three people a day go in uh, to the hospital from our group and we rotate uh, every day or you know every other day to in order to give everyone else a go so with that being said guys I really do hope this video reflects what an average day uh, in the life of a fifth year medical student living in Riga um, is like during a pandemic <laughs> <laughs> How about that one? I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe if you are new and you would like to see more and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace, bye. We should tell you YouTube community that Kia nearly got into a fist fight. Wait, sorry, say that again? That Kia nearly got into a fist fight. Uh, that's him, right? We've seen him, We've seen oh, him on yeah. TV. What's his name? Christian something, something like that, right? I don't feel crazy. <laughs> Was it the president there? No. Latvia? Of Latvia, yeah. The Prime Minister. One of the two. <laughs> That's our guy, right? That's the Prime Minister of Latvia. Mm -hmm. Second from the left. Left. Do I see the movie? president? Uh, no, you don't, yeah, I haven't seen the president. To do what they paid for. <laughs> Come on, man. Is, is he standing in there? Who? The Prime President. It could I doubt it. I, th I don't think he's arrived yet. Yes, See, he he's, he's saying wait, because he doesn't know whether the president's here yet. Yeah. They're like, come on, macaroons. Not saluting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, head mate. nod, head nod. <laughs> Let's head out for the, for, for the pubs later. <laughs> I hope he loves the jam, man. <laughs> loves the what? The jam. Oh, the jam. <laughs> First round's on me. <laughs> You know what they're really here? They're, they're really here for your house, your tear batters party on Friday.